Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the Wrangler 3010 1-64 scale micro RC off-road car by S&T, Dayton's brand of micro RC cars. The Wrangler 3010 is available in different colors and different versions. It is compatible with Smiklo's radio controller and their all-in-one FB camera, so in case you already have the radio controller or all-in-one FB camera, you can simply use them. And basically, it is an upgraded version of the SNT Y60, which I have recently reviewed. What I'm going to do is to point out the differences between the two versions and give them a feedback after testing out this new RC car. First of all, in terms of weight, the Wrangler 3010 weighs 39.7 grams, so it is 1.3 grams heavier than the Y60. On the Wrangler 3010, you can find a single place to mount the all-in-one FB camera, whereas on the Y60, you can find two of them, one on the front side of the car and one on the back one, which will enable you to see a larger part of the car in your FPV feed. However, on the Wrangler 3010, you will be able to control the all-in-one FB camera using this button, so you will be able to turn it on or off, whereas it is not possible on the Y60. In addition, the build quality of the canopy and the attention to details are better on the Wrangler 3010. As far as I can tell, the springs on the Wrangler 3010 are a bit tighter in comparison to the Y60, which in my opinion is a good upgrade as it makes it less wobbly. And finally, the biggest upgrade in my opinion is that instead of using these plastic parts, which in my experience can easily break, now the Wrangler 3010 features metal parts. In case you checked out my review of the Y60, it was probably the biggest downside of the micro RC car, and I'm glad to find out that S&T decided to upgrade these parts to metal ones, as again, it's a big upgrade, and now these parts are very less likely to break. As for the other internal components, as far as I can tell, things remained pretty much the same, although things seem to be more organized on the Wrangler 3010, and in addition, both micro RC cars are using the same 250mAh 1S LiPo battery that should provide you with about an hour of runtime when the all-in-one FPB camera is not in use, and about 30 minutes of runtime when using it. So overall, as far as I can tell, the Wrangler 3010 seems to be a nice upgrade over the Y60, so in case you wanted to get the Y60 and you didn't, you should definitely go for the newer car. In addition, its off-road capabilities are pretty impressive for its size, and my 3 year old son really loves playing with it, and I think it's a great way to introduce micro RC cars in general, and also FPV, to your friends and family. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy driving, and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.